Hi everyone, back again for another video looking at a goal from the women's SSL uh, last weekend. It was in the match between Renbi and Tabi. So I'll let the goal play through and then we'll go into the analysis after that. Chockstarten mer eller mindre. Halva matchen spelar, eller halva perioden spelar och precis när 2-1 kommer så slarvar man. Okay, so this is the very beginning of the clip here. I'll just briefly set the scene. Uh, the ball is in the red circle there, so there has been a little bit of a scramble, um, but the the white team now has control of it. A little bit of pressure, and the white team is attacking in the direction of this white arrow here. So I'm actually going to move the clip a little bit further forward to do the initial situation analysis, as I think there's a better point which illustrates a few more things. So here's where I'd like to do the initial situational analysis from, just because I think it sets the scene a little bit better. Um, so you can see white team Tabby have a possession of the ball in their own zone, not under too much pressure, and they have numbers. So they have one, two, three players against just two, uh, four checkers here. You can see that the player which just passed the ball off, she's actually a forward, so she's moving to the other end of the court to, to take position. But even then, if we draw a line here across the court, if we exclude that player who's about to move off, it's a three on two for the white team. So they should be able to maintain possession at the bare minimum and you know hopefully find a way to progress up the court from there so we'll move it forward a little bit further and we'll see what happens so right here is where the trouble begins so this player here has obviously as you just saw dribbled the ball this way and this player here has started to move this way up the boards this essentially leaves the player with the ball as the last player so if anything goes wrong if they lose the ball and the opposition picks up the ball then the opposition has basically a one-on-one -on -one or a chance to have just a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie if the if the last player loses the ball. The other thing which goes wrong here, and this is also due to a, a lack of support from her teammates, is the ball carrier, she tries to play a pass through to this player in the center here. And that's ultimately what gets disrupted by the opposition player who is pressing her, the four checker, and what re results in the turnover. So have a look here, let's take it through slowly. She tries to play the pass through this player, gets the stick there, you can see that right now. Uh, I know the quality is not very good, but this is where it, it happens basically. And from here, the turnover occurs. There's a loose ball here right now, and the attacker or the, the four checker jumps on that. So the uh, the lapse of judgment there by the ball carrier as well also resulted in the, the turnover. So key point there, if a player is the last player closest to the net and they do have the ball, they need to make very smart and mostly conservative plays to avoid something like this happening. So I'll just take it back a bit here just to make comment on the four checker. I think the four checker has done a good job here and I'll give you the reason why. Basically, this four checker here has ensured that the ball carrier ends up um, somewhere in front of the net or at least heads towards the net and towards the middle of the court this way. And the way they do this is by taking uh, an outside in route so they're pressuring in this direction just slightly 
they don't go straight at this ball carrier here. They actually take a, a little bit on the outside and they keep their stick on that side mostly to pressure the ball carrier back towards the middle. And then once they see that the ball carrier is about to make the pass, the four checker switches her stick over. So let's just have a look at that slowly as, as we go through here. So she pursues her, she pursues her with a stick on the left hand side to keep the player that she's pressing moving towards the middle of the court this way. Keeps going, moves the stick across, moves it back. And now she's closed the gap and she's pushed her right in front of her net, right in the middle. So if anything does go wrong, even if the, the ball carrier mishandled it here, even if the, the four checker didn't even touch the ball and the ball carrier simply just lost it, the four checker is in really good position to do something dangerous in this area. All she needs to do is get a touch on the ball and it could go in the net or she could you know, put it into an area for another of her teammates to pick up. So great work by the four checker there. I'll have a look at now what the team with the ball, the white team, could have done better. Although this is a pretty good four-checking effort and there's a goal scored, there's a forced turnover and there's pressure there, the white team really were the ones who made the error here and they could have done a lot better and prevented this goal. It's not a hard goal to prevent. So the first thing is that personally, when I'm coaching, I would prefer to see this player here moving this way instead of the direction they did move which was this way so i would prefer them to basically underlap the the player with the ball so that the player with the ball is not the last person i'll just say that again i would prefer to see the ball carrier being the second person in the second layer. So if we draw some layers in here to see what that looks like right now, you can see that the ball carrier is definitely closer to their net, both vertically along the vertical axis of the court, so this way, and also horizontally along the, the width of the court this way they are definitely closer to their net than any other player on their team, any of these players. I would prefer this player to come this way and to give a passing option to the ball carrier so that there could be uh, a pass back if need be because there's plenty of space near the net and in their zone um, on the net side of this green line to play with. They didn't need to you know, create a, a situation for themselves to get scored against by taking it in front of the net and losing it. The other thing that could have been done, if we take it back a bit, is that this player here, with the ball right now, could have made an earlier pass to their D partner over here. That just would have shifted the ball and probably given the player who has the ball now a little bit more time to move into this area here and set herself up so that she's facing forward on the court open with her shoulders somewhere along this line here so that she's more of a threat when she gets the ball at the moment she's not much of a threat because she can only really see around here somewhere so everything down this close side of the court, anything down here is not actually an option for her. If she just made a simple pass to her D partner, reoriented herself and faced her chest to the middle of the court, then she would have been a threat when she got the ball back. And the, the four checker who's putting the pressure on, they would have had to respect that. Okay, so just to summarize here to finish off this video, the the last player should not have held the ball. The ball needed to move up into the second layer, either by passing the ball and then moving into a supporting position um, with uh, the chest open to the court, or by having the teammate who she was dribbling towards re-support underneath the ball carrier so there's an easy outlet pass. Secondly, the attempted pass the option that the ball carrier took was far too risky for her position on the court and the position of everyone else in relation to her you could see 
one thing went wrong and it resulted in a goal against. The four checker did good work steering the ball carrier towards the net by taking that outside to inside route and they ended up getting a touch on the ball and they did a good job in just finishing it basically. So that's it for this video. Um, have a look at the rest of the videos in the playlist if you like these sort of things. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. From now on, I'll be trying to do one to two videos every week as the SSL season is now underway for both the women's and the men's. This video was just on the women's as the women started a one week earlier than the men's, but they're both underway. So I'll try and get a video out every week on each of them, just like this, just to, to keep the content fresh as the season moves along. So I'll let the video play through again and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Schock starten mer eller mindre. Halva matchen spelar, eller halva perioden spelar då precis när 2-1 kommer så slarvar man.